All right, so this is part number three for surf lessons that apply to your business. So this one is about having the right board for the current conditions. So what I found out is, you know, when you first go into surfing, I thought like basically I just need a board and that's it. And you know, no matter what, you know, the conditions are like, then I just use that and life is good. Um, but it's not really the case because what will happen is it, it really depends on the condition. So if we're in like, you know, one to two foot waves, you know, the board you're going to use for that is drastically different than something that you're going to use for like a six foot wave. Um, just for a few reasons. The one for the six foot wave, you might be using like a short board, something, you know, smaller, more agile, quicker, uh, able to turn, maneuver, all that kind of stuff. But if you're stuck in these really small waves, just say even a foot where they're next to nothing, that same board is simply not going to work. What's going to end up happening is you're not going to get the, um, because of the size of the wave, you know, with the smaller board, you're not going to get the speed and everything else that you're looking for. And you might have to even go to like a long board instead. So instead of dealing with a typical, you know, five foot something board, you might have to go into the eight to 10 foot uh, range just to be able to surf. Now, how does this apply to your business? It's pretty much the same thing. So depending on the type of job, if you don't have the right tool for the job, um, what's gonna happen is can you still get the job done? Yeah, but you're not gonna be able to be as efficient as you would like to be. So what'll end up happening is, you know, a job that should have only taken you like four hours now took three days because, you know, if you're supposed to be chiseling out concrete or whatever else, and you don't have the correct jackhammer or the breaker or whatever you happen to be using, if you don't have the right tool for the job, you know, it's not gonna work. You know, that little, you know, little jackhammer that you bought from like Harbor Freight, you know, that's fine if you had to literally just break apart one square, you know, block on a sidewalk. But if you're demoing, you know, let's just say a, um, a basement for whatever reason, or, you know, a full on concrete pad that's like 20 by 20, you know, we'll get the job done. Sure. But it's going to take you forever. And, you know, when those situations arise, you either have two choices. It's actually, I guess, three. So one is you just, you know, grin and bear it and see what happens. And again, you go from four hours to like, you know, two days which is not good for anyone because what ends up happening is you make a hell of a lot less money. Um, and not only that, because you're spending all the time on this job, you're not able to go to another job. So not only you're making less money on this job, but then you're losing the profitability for that second job. So like it's, you know, compounding um, results that you're basically missing out on. Uh, the next thing you do is basically rent the proper equipment. Now, this you have to be careful of because if you are over your head and you decided, yeah, you normally use jackhammers, but now I'm running like a, you know, a skid steer and, you know, ride on skid steer with the, you know, the equipment and everything else you need. This may be above your head um, as or your skill set. So, you know, again, you may be able to do it just as quick, but, you know, you're going to come up to issues and everything else. So, again, it should have been four hours and then it turns into two days. Um, not to mention that, you know, if you're over your head in the skill set and everything else that you need, well, you're spending your time going to get that equipment. You're spending all the time trying to figure out how to use this equipment. Um, it takes extra days. So you thought it was going to be a rental for one day at 250 bucks, but now it's a rental for two days for $500. So again, you're losing money because you're just not efficient. And the final thing you do is basically skip the job and realize that you know maybe this isn't in your skill set and because it's not in your skill set maybe you you're better off leaving that to someone else now a lot of people will not do this because they feel as though like any opportunity that comes their way they need to take every opportunity to make the money um, because they feel as though if they're not taking that job it's like they're losing that job and it's kind of like throwing money in the street or you know leaving money in the street that you could have taken. Um, but again, you have to look at it, you know, from both sides and say, is this really in my comfort zone? Is this really in my wheelhouse? And if it's not, then chances are that you might need to um, skip it and move on to another job. Now, if you're in, you know, in a position where you really need that work, well, if you really need that work, well, what's happening is it's not a problem of today. It was actually a problem of weeks and months ago because you don't have enough leads coming in. Now, what can you do about more leads? Um, you know, talked about it several times. Google My Business, SEO, advertising. Those are your three main things and also social media as well, so four. 
Um, but those are things that need to be done beforehand. If you're only waiting to advertise or do Google My Business or SEO or you know social media, when you need work, well, you did it way too late. That's stuff you have to do in the you know in the you know weeks and months ago. Uh, it's kind of like that adage that I keep on seeing and hearing about for whatever reason. But it's you know the seeds you plant today, you're not reaping the benefits of them today. That's weeks, months, and even years, depending on like what you're trying to grow. Um, you know you're not going to you know just it's kind of like working out as well. You know I can't expect to you know, work out today and expect to look like, you know, Ryan Reynolds in, you know, tomorrow. It's just not going to happen. It takes weeks and months of, or actually months and years of training to be able to get to that level. So anyway, hope you have an awesome day. In the link in the uh, description, you'll see the list of all the other videos that pertain to this, you know, business surf lessons. Um, I would check them out. They're usually short and sweet, but they're typically pretty helpful. So anyway, have an awesome day. Bye.